What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Diablo Immortal video. The update has just launched inside of the game. I'm waking up this morning and taking a look at it for the first time. We're going to be going through and seeing what changes actually dropped inside of the game. Now, we know that a new battle pass is coming, but it's worth noting that we still have one day until that new battle pass does drop. So make sure you complete your battle pass and get as much of the gift of renowns as you can. And also remember to claim any battle points that are going to be in your little stash right here because they will all be gone tomorrow when the new battle pass drops, which is going to be that wolf looking battle pass cosmetic, which uh, is a cool idea. We'll see how it actually looks in person but let's go over some other things that have come to the game first of all we got some new runes and i'm going to take a look right now at those new runes and you can see we have our gold and now we have these orangey gold ones we have the laz we're going to be getting the attribute of the equipment increased by eight percent and then stun resistance by four continual damage by four some nice uh resistance as well as well gain a shield equal to 20 percent of your maximum life we're going to see very similar across the board, 8% base, damage to elites, damage to full life enemies, critical hit chance increased by 4%. Love that one. Anything with critical hit, I do like. Another 8%, 4%, and 2%. Restrain, loss of, con loss of control, durations of affected enemies are increased by 16% when you critically hit them. We have another base attribute, 8%. Damage taken while moving decreased by 3. Attack speed increased by 2%. And skill cooldowns by 4. And then the best of all, apparently, is going to be base 8%. Damage increased to four, by 4% 4 to enemies below 30% life. Primary attacks have a 6% chance to reduce enemy, enemy attack and movement speeds by 20%. And critical hit chance increased by 6%. This is huge right here really really nice now i wonder if there are any of these for sale there's one of them for sale right now and it's for sale for 68,263 platinum so if you are some of the first people to find these then what i would recommend is try and sell it right away while the values are high because they are not going to stay that high that long and where do you find them you come on over to the abyssal verge right here and you're going to want to participate in that. That's going to be your best chance of getting any runes. Now, you can get runes from open world, but it's less likely that you're going to be able to get them there. All right, what other changes have come? We now have changes to the Immortal. We talked about Tower War compensation and rankings and things like that. Shadow goals. But we also had a change to Warbands. And I have some information on that here. Notice you have your Warband. Mine is the Scrappy Echoes. I'm on the Iceburn tier server. And what we're actually doing right now is looking for a couple more people to join. Because now there are eight... Uh, I'm sorry, four more slots for a total of 12 slots. Why did they do this? And how is this going to affect you? How is this going to affect Heliquary raids? Well, it's actually pretty simple, and it makes a lot of sense. A lot of people with their warbands were having trouble putting together a full party because all eight members that they had maybe were not active enough. So what these extra four slots are actually here to do is to just give a little bit of a cushion so you could still be able to form that full team. If you are in a warband of eight people and all eight people are active for the activities, Heliquary specifically, you're not even going to need to have these four extra slots. You could fill them with alternates, people that will fill in if someone has something to do and they can't participate, or you could just completely leave them blank. That is up to you. I like the idea of filling them to try and get as much warband cred as you can for having a strong warband. Uh, I know that we are going to be looking for four more warband members. Uh, requirements are going to be that you're fairly active, that you can participate in the events, and that you are above Paragon level so that we can all uh, enjoy and participate together and not have any any slackers in there all right so that's a good change and i think it's going to help a lot of people specifically in those casual warbands that are just not able to get enough people together to participate in the events all right clan names can now be changed as we discussed in yesterday's video and there's something about the damage done in dungeons let's actually put that to the test i'm going to do a party finder we'll go try and find a quick dungeon really quickly while we're talking about some of the other things and see if we could check out these damage numbers now remember we're also able in the settings to turn off damage numbers to make it so that there is no damage numbers jumping up on the screen i know that a lot of people surprisingly don't like the numbers jumping all around the screen with the damage. I particularly do enjoy that. I think it's a good look, but 
For people that don't, you could you could make them smaller, minimizing them, or you can completely remove them at this point in time, which is nice uh, for people that just don't want to have to deal with that. So let's go through here and run this. Looks like my game took a little bit longer to ro load than everyone else. Playing on PC, obviously, right now, guys. Um, look at this. They already got through. Look at you could check out your damage as we go right here. I have no damage. Oh, wait. Do, do we? It does seem to show other people's damage as well. Hi, that's pretty cool, actually. I have zero. Let me get up in here, boys. Let me get up into this mix. Oh, we got a little damage. There we go. Okay. I, I actually really like this. And it's really cool. I, I wasn't sure yesterday that it would actually show damage of other players. But I'm really happy that it does. It's uh, It can also show you who's going to be a slacker, who's not participating, or who's not doing anything. That may need to be kicked from the party but so when we take a deeper look at our damage you can see my primary attack legendary gems miscellaneous are really what's doing the damage my skills haven't done any and we can't we can't check oh i just almost fell off that ledge there we can't check on the other player we can just see that that uh ji77 has the highest amount of damage showing his damage per second as well which is actually whoa that was cool little bit of a glitch there i can't get ahead of these guys enough to actually start getting some damage i'm just gonna literally run ahead we'll go here you know what's funny it's not showing my damage on my skills are you noticing this let's do it again here i got all my my skills out look it's it's showing no damage it's just showing primary attack damage and miscellaneous it's saying i have 12 million miscellaneous damage which is my skill damage. But for some reason, it's not allocating it in the right spot to show it on my skills. Looks like they got a little bit of a bug here. It's something that I'm sure they're going to fix. Let's throw out some skills right here. Just skills. Notice, my skills are working, and I was gaining more damage from them. All right, they got a little, little bug to work out there, it seems. I will take this to the final boss. We'll do a final test on how this actually looks. Now, the damage screen actually gets in the way a little bit. I wouldn't mind if it popped below. Let's get out of the way. I wouldn't mind if it popped below the um, the your damage and highest damage screens that pop up above the chat. Because it's, it's definitely impeding on the screen. The top damage dealer right here is dealt... 159 million damage while I'm sitting here having only dealt I think like 15 million from skills 20 million from skills and the rest from primary attack so we're just going to try and get a little bit more damage here at the final and then we can take a look at our final amount definitely a cool tool and you can now test out your build to see how it does 23 million damage again not a lot of damage but Running behind your team and really not being able to get to the enemies before they take them out will hurt your ability to uh, to get that damage. So I'm not able to see. Oh, what does this say? Your damage. It did switch back to me right here. So it goes to my total damage, 37 million damage. Looks like skills need to get their damage shown. That'll be important so we can see actually how we are doing our damage. But that was one of the changes that came to the game as well. Now, they did do some changes to the Paragon system. Again, when we were getting our Paragon stuff, it would show a little icon that you had these to spend. Now it only shows a number next to what you have to spend because it was being an annoying red dot for some people when they were just not going in and, um, and spending them because maybe they were saving up for these legendary skills from the paragon tree instead so that annoying thing is now gone as well um that's really the majority of what has changed we have the new events that are coming to the game or i shouldn't say new i should say the returning events so let's take a look at what we have in the game right now we have the trial of virtue make sure we claim our stuff right here completing bounties and we can come on over and claim our rewards there as well i just i'm just going to get myself some dust there we go. Um, 
and you have the things that you can do for Vanguard. So it's a great idea to dive into Vanguard, try and get yourself your charm upgraded for that event. You have the um, roll, battle, battle points that you can grab from that. That's only around for one more day. Fractured Plane in the game right now, Conquer in the game right now, and Hungering Moon, so you could just passively claim all of your rewards and then take them to the collection and just grab everything that you can. I'm going to get myself another... Can I get another shard here? Yes, I can. And um, and the rest is going to be gold and a mysterious item, but we've already completed that one. So this update really had more quality of life changes versus new things dropping inside of the game, which... If you think about it, that's what a lot of people were asking for. Quality of life and fixing the bugs inside of the game. Looks like we have a new bug that needs to be fixed out now regarding those skills. If you've seen that same thing when you ran a dungeon yourself, let me know. Was it tracking your skill damage? Because as of my first run, it wasn't tracking mine. We'll see how the game is looking tomorrow. I'll be back then. I'll see you guys later.